I also want to go across to Mary Milburn, American singer who has sung for US presidents and many world leaders joining us live. She was part of the Yoga Day event session with Prime Minister Modi earlier and will be performing for the PM at the Diaspora event tomorrow. Mary, thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, uh, you've always expressed a lot of love for India. How excited are you to be performing for the Prime Minister tomorrow? Well, Shivani, it's great to see you, and hello to all the uh, CNN News 18 family. Uh, it is such a wonderful just honor to be a part of the Prime Minister's state arrival visit here in the United States. I am so excited and just elated to be performing tomorrow for the Prime Minister and so many uh, guests that are here in the United States for the visit, and certainly all of the, the wonderful family, the Indian American community family here in the United States and, and folks from all over the country uh, in the diaspora that have come here to Washington, D.C. for the Prime Minister's visit. So it's a tremendous honor. Uh, I tell you, I have such love for India, as you alluded to, yes. uh, and such great admiration and respect for the Prime Minister. Mary, we're just possibly minutes away from the Prime Minister arriving at the White House. So I want to dive right in. I want you to give us a little bit of a snippet into what you're going to be doing tomorrow. Absolutely. Well, and I, I'm so sorry that I'm not uh, with all of my friends and family at the White House. You know, when you're preparing for uh, a, a performance, you have to have a little day of rest. And so today is my day of rest before performing tomorrow. But it's going to be wonderful festivities at the White House today and certainly this evening for the Prime Minister State uh, Arrival Gala. Uh, and certainly I know that the President and the First Lady and all of the White House are so excited to have uh, the Prime Minister here in Washington, D.C. Uh, tomorrow, I have I'm so grateful to the steering committee for uh, the Prime Minister's arrival visit that invited me to perform tomorrow uh, to an invitation-only diaspora event at the Ronald Reagan, Interna Ronald Reagan Building International Trade Center. They're just a, a block over from the White House uh, tomorrow uh, evening. And this, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, is the last uh, uh, formal event of, for the Prime Minister before he uh, exits the United States. And so I'm just honored to uh, be able to perform uh, to sing the Indian National Anthem, uh, which is an anthem that I have come to love uh, in so many aspects. You know, I have been so honored to perform the National Anthem and patriotic music here in the United States mm. for four consecutive U.S. presidents, for mm. President Bush, President Obama, President Trump, uh, and certainly it was wonderful to uh, perform here recently uh, this last December uh, for President Biden as we honored our World War or two veterans here in the United States. And so to have this opportunity to welcome the prime minister and sing the Indian national anthem, uh, you know, the United States and India, you know this, it's the most important relationship in the world. Mm. And so we share these common bonds of uh, democracy and freedom. And so both of our anthems speak to democracy and freedom. And so to sing the Indian national anthem for the prime minister uh, during his visit, uh, uh, it's just, it's a tremendous honor and I, I'm looking forward to it. Well, I'm sure it's going to be goosebump inducing for us. Our national anthem is that for us. And we look forward to your rendition. I remember you have sung one of uh, the most prominent artis in India, Om Jai Jagdish. Yeah. And I saw that video a few years ago, I think. And that's when I first got introduced to you. And you make so yeah. much effort to get your Hindi right and your diction right. Uh, you must really well. be into this. Well, I have to first thank my wonderful Hindi coach, Dr. Mokshraj, who is based there in Rajasthan in yes. India. He was serving as the cultural diplomat uh, at the embassy of India during COVID year. That's how we were introduced through the ambassador from India. And we started Hindi classes and then preparing for those performances, certainly the performance that you've seen on Daja Gadisha Hare. And I tell you, Dr. Mokshraj, he, he gets a lot of credit for certainly my success when it comes to the language and certainly learning about India. He's been such a great teacher. And I loved preparing for that performance because that song, which I understand certainly now is a song that every household grows up learning. Uh, it's very similar to us in the United States. I am a woman of faith and uh, Amazing Grace is very similar to Jai Jagadisha Hade, a song that we grow up learning in our homes as children. And so learning that, that Hindu hymn, learning the words of that Hindu hymn, uh, it was very meaningful to me and certainly to present it during the Diwali observance during yes. the uh, 20. So I just, I, I love India and I love uh, this beautiful family. I call India my 
family. Uh, you know, I, that's what I love so much, uh, Shivani, about the G20 Summit uh, yes. motto. And I'll go after this, the one earth, one family, one future. We really are a family all over the world. Uh, and when we see humanity that way, we can truly impact the world in greater measures when we, when we uh, see uh, life uh, as a family. And so I, I love the model that is for the G20 Summit because the United States and India, we really are a family. We're a family that is bonded in the ideals of democracy and freedom. And so uh, lifting that hymn during Diwali, it, it brought back those important uh, values of family, those important values of faith, those important values of religious freedom, certainly as it speaks to uh, the religious aspects of that hymn. And so um, I'm just de just delighted to be a part of this wonderful celebration for the Prime Minister. I'm looking forward to being back in India during the G20 summit time frame, and certainly- I, I look to forward to meeting you here. And of course, we can have another chat at that time when you come to India. Mary, we're just preparing for the Prime Minister arrival. Uh, I have about 30 seconds. You want to sing anything for us uh, just to give us a glimpse? Sure. Uh, well, uh, how about a little bit of the anthem? Uh, you have 30 seconds, so I'll sing the end. Jaya hey, Jaya hey, Jaya hey, Jaya, 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 Jaya hey. All right. <laughs> Mary Milburn, thanks a lot and all the very best for your performance and the rendition of the Indian National Anthem tomorrow. Thanks a lot.